we all have dishes from our childhood which we cherish and what I'm making today is one of them. This would be a quick meal which my mom would prepare in minutes and I'm so glad because my kids love it now and it's a simple egg stuffed parathas. You might not have made this before or might be a regular at your home, I don't know, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to make it yourself. And I'm going to start with 300 grams of chapati flour. If you don't have chapati flour, mix a bit of plain flour with whole grain. And to this, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of sunflower oil. And I've got 160 ml of water, but like always, add little at a time. And when you're done, just stop. Um, or if you need a bit more, then add a bit more. So I've used all the 160 ml of water, all gone, but I still need some more. So exactly what I'm trying to say is add little and just stop when you're done. I'm going to cover this with cling film and leave it to rest for 10 to 15 minutes. The good thing is you can make this dough, put it in an airtight box and leave it in the fridge. It lasts for two to three days, um, sometimes four. Um, and you can just take it out whenever you're ready to eat the parathas. This um, dough makes up to eight parathas. So I've got one portion and I'm going to roll it in the dry flour and then just roll it out into a circle. And here I have got some homemade ghee. You can find the recipe of how to make ghee at home on the channel. I'll leave the link there. And if you just take a quarter teaspoon of ghee and just spread that. And what we're doing is just folding it once and then folding it twice. So you've got a rectangle shape. If it gets too sticky, just roll it in the dry flour again. So it's roughly five to six inch triangle. I've got a pan really hot and I'm going to roast it and I've got one large egg here. And what I'm going to do is while that's cooking, I'm just going to break it in a bowl and I'm going to add a pinch of salt and a pinch of red chili powder. Actually two pinches of salt. You can see it's bubbling up quite nicely and that's when we turn it over and then we let it cook just the same amount on the other side. In the meantime, we'll just whisk the egg with the salt and chili powder. So because we added the ghee, it's got a nice layer. So I've turned it around, I'm going to lower the heat and you can see it's made a really nice pocket. Because of the layering, it's got that pocket. So you have to add, whether it's ghee or oil, whatever you choose, you need to make a nice layer. So we've got our pocket and we're putting the egg in and sometimes almost all of it comes out, so don't worry. Um, but we try and keep it in as much as we can and some of it will roll out. So um, I've got that in and I'm just going to keep the gas on low because um, otherwise the paranta will burn, the egg won't cook from inside. I'm just adding some ghee. After a minute or so, I'm going to very carefully flip it over. Because it's cooking on low gas, it has puffed up quite nicely, which means that the egg inside has cooked. So we're just going to flip it back once more. You can see it's all cooked really nicely and that's when you know it's ready to be plated up. That is looking so good. All the egg inside has cooked really well and it's just right cooked, it's not overdone. So I usually have it with some mango pickle because it tastes really good. But the kids like it with some ketchup so you can choose what you want to eat it with. Um, or you can have it on its own of course. good and so simple and you are using ghee if you want to make it without anything then it won't be as crispy but it'll still taste delicious so you can make it slightly healthier so please do give this a go give us a thumbs up if you like the recipe subscribe share it with your friends if you have any specific requests for any recipes then please leave your comments below and i'll try and make it as quickly as possible so good guys, seriously.
please do try.